the, the resilience and so on there. Uh, we're members, getting it uh, from the, the government. time has Very expired. Mika Whaitari. Speaker, the Māori Party claim to be the independent voice for Māori, but their voting record and their policy priorities are nothing but a sham. The Māori Party is showing, sir, that their true agenda is around one of privatisation, empowering a corporate elite and cutting secret deals with the, their national mates behind closed doors. Yeah. Sir, we have seen all of this. They voted to sell off state houses. They cut, off a dodge, they cut a dodgy deal with National over the despised RMA reforms, and they are driving through unwanted Māori land reforms in the face of the massive opposition. Sir, meanwhile, on urgent, critical issues facing Māori, like a lack of emergency, social and affordable housing, we get what? Silence. When the emergency housing blowout scandal, sir, dominated headlines a month ago, we got silence. We waited an entire week for either Tudor or Flavel, our Minister of Māori Development, or Marama Fox to come out, out and rage against the injustice of Māori whānau's thousands being moved from cramped motel to cramped motel, but all we got, sir, was silence. You see, they claim to be the independent voice, sir, but silence is all the Māori Party have to offer our people on critical issues, sir, that really matter, like having a safe, dry and warm home, like a sustainable job, like workers' rights and access to affordable and quality health care. Sir, the housing crisis disproportionately affects Māori, and it should be a key priority kaupapa for the Minister of Māori Development. Sir, it's his job to lead public policy for Māori and to provide guidance to government about policies affecting Māori well-being. The only comments here on housing you'll get from the Minister is when he can promote a papakainga project as evidence that Māori are finding our own solutions to housing. Papakainga, sir, is a hugely positive and worthwhile initiative. Started under Labour, my age said, but it's a drop in the ocean. Where is the leadership from Tudoro Flavel? Where is the leadership to speak up for Pano sleeping in cars, garages and cramped motel units? Where is he? Hundreds of years of institutional knowledge getting gutted out of the Māori land court. I'll tell you where he is, sir. He's pushing through to Tudu Whenua reforms that are massively unpopular and unwanted by Māori landowners. Māori legal experts, academics, institutes and leaders. Where is the leadership, Mr Flavel? Mr Ururo Flavel and Marama Fox's silence on the issues that really matter to Māori is really an admission, sir, that they have no influence on this government where it counts. And when they are called out and held to account, they say criticism is either plain politics or even lies. That's not debate, sir. That's lazy analysis and an attempt to shut down debate. Sir, the Māori Party have sold out on the RMA reforms. Nobody wants this bill, and it's only the two votes from the Māori Party that will get it over the line. They cut a secret deal outside the select committee process to ensure National and Nick Smith will pass this bill. Sir, the concessions they have gained for iwi participation is nothing compared to what they have put at risk. Iwi and, Apu, iwi and Hapu already have 123 co-governance arrangements with local authorities in New Zealand. 83% of local authorities already have some kind of arrangement with Māori, either through MOUs, advisory boards or joint committees. The Māori Party is missing the big picture on the National, uh, National Resource Management Act reforms by, by supporting a fundamentally flawed bill. Sir, now more than ever, a vote for the Māori Party is a vote for National. Voters are coming back to Labour last election because they know we can provide the stable leadership and support they need. They know we are going to build 100,000 affordable homes. 6,000 more emergency beds and pump more funding in health care. We're going to invest in regions to grow jobs and we're going to invest in our classrooms where the need is wanted. Sir, our Māori MPs with Labour are united and valued and we are listening to our people. Kia ora tato. The Honourable Anne Tully.